Hey guys, a few weeks ago I visited the Woodbury Common Premium Outlets in New York and I was there for a very limited time so I went to as many stores as I had time for. Here we're in Mulberry which is one of my favorite stores. Also forgive me for this is my first time filming any kind of shopping vlog so I apologize for any quality issues. I did my very best and I'm really sorry I didn't show many prices because I was so paranoid I was going to be told off by the stores that I couldn't film so I tried to be as efficient as possible. Also I'm going to do as little voiceover as possible just to make this video a little bit less disruptive so I hope you enjoy seeing what's in store and window shopping with me. so many varieties and different colors. Normally Mulberry does a lot of neutral colors, but I loved some of the variety and colors that they had in the store today. And these pillowy bags, I love. They're so cute. I know Loewe has something very similar. I've always been eyeing these lily bags, but I've never pulled the trigger, so I love seeing them in person. <laughs> by Dolce & Gabbana. I especially love these florals. I think any of the florals that Dolce & Gabbana do are so, so beautiful. These shoes are also so adorable. I especially love this floral blazer. It is so beautiful, but honestly, I have nowhere to wear this to. The skirt that's coming up also is also so gorgeous. Disappointing. There was very little stock and very little to look at in terms of bags and even shoes. So I'm just showing you whatever that was available. I can appreciate how beautiful some of these shoes are, but honestly, they're just not that wearable because they would just get so filthy. So they're pretty to look at, but not necessarily wearable in my opinion. Next was Max Mara, which is one of my favorite stores, and they had a few beautiful dresses, but not enough that jumped out at me that made me want to try it on. 
You know what I mean, right? Like, it's got to be really good for me to want to try it on. Next was Dior and the store was very sparse, there was very little ready to wear that was either nice or wearable. There's some basic stuff here in the denim and leather jackets, but everything else seemed pretty unwearable in terms of just being getting your cost per wear down. There were some gowns in the back that I'll show you, um, but very little selection in terms of shoes and bags. <laughs> Next I went to the Gucci store for kids. It's a separate store from the regular adult Gucci store. The regular adult Gucci store had a crazy, crazy line that was super slow and hardly moving at all, so I did not go in there at that time. But this is the kids store and it was adorable. And there is an infant section. There's also a big kids section. So if you are petite, you can explore some of the larger sizes. I believe they go up to size 14. I've done that before and they actually fit pretty well and I'm fine too. So just a little hack.
really cool, but they were not that comfortable. I really love this green anagram bag, not necessarily in this silhouette, but I just think it's so pretty and the color is beautiful. Next I went into Maison Margiela, which I love this brand and I feel like not a lot of people talk about it. I love their clothes especially. Some of their bags are really cool too and I'm going to show you some of them that I really liked. I hate these shoes that they are known for. They look like hooves and they are just not, it's not it, not for me at least. I know it's supposed to be really cool looking, but I just don't want cow feet. Now this dual personality bag, you're either going to love it or hate it. I thought it was really fun and the fact that the dual sides are both classic in color and pattern made it pretty classic in my opinion, but it was still very fun because it's double sided. So I don't know, let me know what you think, but that's why I love this brand. It's really interesting. Notice that a lot of their ready to wear clothes runs either really wacky and crazy or very classic and I just really think they have some cool clothing that always kind of sparks my interest. I do have a couple of Maison Margiela items and I do love them. perfect example where else are you going to find this beautiful classic wool check skirt next to this crazy and fun Frankenstein dress. I just love it. Next was Burberry, which is a huge store inside. They had so many beautiful handbags and clothes. The handbags that I'm showing you now are an additional 25% off the outlet price. This 
collection of handbags, however, were excluded from the additional 25% off discount. I really loved this bag, but you can tell after a lot of wears, it's gonna start pilling. This was already pilling a little bit in some places, so you know after it's getting rubbed around and used, there's just gonna be so much more. are so beautiful and classic but there's already so much pilling on them and they've hardly been worn.
loves this shirt dress and I actually did try it on and it was beautiful, but it was very see-through. So I put it back. sweatshirts is to check the men's section and get it there. It's so much cheaper than the women's line and that's how I did it a few years ago. Also, these sweatshirts are so thick and substantial, it's not your standard sweatshirt. That was my quick trip at Woodbury Commons. I hope you enjoyed it. And my next video is a tour of East Hampton. So stay tuned and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.